So I believe the question that uh, a lot of people might be asking is what to buy in the stock market because everything looks super expensive. I, I'll just go ahead and say it. I'm banking on bank stocks right now. I feel like they've already dropped quite a bit in value. Their valuations aren't ridiculous. They're relatively stable companies. I don't see them falling too much lower from here. A couple of the major benefits about banking is I think the price to earnings ratios are very good. They have low valuations right now. No one wants to own banks. And with a lot of stocks, you want to buy stocks when no one wants to own them. When you throw in the dividend yield of some of these banks like Bank of America, JP Morgan, you know, you're getting three, 4% just to sit there and wait for them to reclaim their 2019 valuations. I think it's a little bit of a safer buy than buying, you know, Apple stock at $450 a share or Tesla stock at $1,500 a share or even Google stock. There are a couple of downsides to banking on bank stocks. Uh, you know, interest rates are low, so it's a little bit harder for them to make as much money. But uh, if there's one thing I realized from the 2008, 2009 crisis with the too big to fail is if banking goes, pretty much everything goes. For the time being, I'm gonna keep it to banking. I have four names right now, let's go into this. I have Bank of America. I have about $60,000 worth of Bank of America, more than 2,000 shares, about 2,200 shares, about $60,000 worth of Wells Fargo, $80,000 worth of JP Morgan. I picked up JP Morgan around $88 a share. I have trimmed a little bit of JP Morgan as it hit $106 last week. Uh, I was very grateful for a little bit of a rally last week. Of course, I have Citibank, $37 a share. I bought $2,000 worth of Citibank, around $37 a share. There are two other names that I used to own. One was Ally Bank. I had managed to buy Ally Bank around $11 a share. I sold it when it hit 19. Um, I only had $1,000 worth of Ally Bank and I got rid of PNC because it had a major resurgence. If you guys are noticing one big trend on my channel and one thing that I need to really work on going on in the future is I tend to cut winners way too early. I really pumped a lot of money into the market when the S&P hit 2200 but I sold everything out at 2850 thinking, you know, actually long before 2850, thinking that the market was going to, um, you know, maybe not retest, but drop back down. But uh, the thing with banking is I'm willing to hold on to these names for a little while. One of the few places in the market, in the stock market, where I'm not freaking out about valuations. Tech is completely, completely gone uh, away from me right now. Hopefully at some point people are going to start selling off their tech names and buying some value names like banks, maybe AT&T, uh, maybe Verizon, something along those lines. I know Warren Buffett recently, uh, as of this uh, week, the news has broken out that he's been selling a lot of the other banks like Wells Fargo, JP Morgan, but he also has a lot of exposure to banks um, and it seems like he's consolidating his exposure to Bank of America. For the long term, for that reason, I think Bank of America, keep in mind, you have one of the greatest investors of all time backing it. I think it's a relatively safe bet. If you had to pick one name out of this group, it would probably be Bank of America just because of Warren Buffett. I might end up selling my Wells Fargo to buy Bank of America. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, personally, I think PNC was the safest bank of the group, but PNC's valuation has gotten a little too high compared to the other banks, which is why I'm not in it right now. Other than banking, I actually don't feel comfortable with the valuations of anything else in the market. Like if I am going to buy anything else in the market, it will be the purpose of a trade. And that's just the way it's going to be for right now until until things start making sense to me. Let me know what you guys think. Is this a good idea or am I gonna lose more money? Leave a comment down below. I really appreciate your feedback and perhaps you can help me save money.